once we have our points displayed correct it's correctly spaced we're going to do a plot of these points so you'll go to one of the layout tabs at the bottom of the page this page is currently set up for an a4 page and we want to do an a3 plot so we need to change the paper size and bring in the border that our title block uh, that's sized for an a3 page so first to change the page type we go to file and we go to page setup manager modify the layout we'll just choose generic one Microsoft print PDF currently set it to a4 we'll change that to a3 uh, make certain that it's for us it's in a landscape mode and we'll okay that uh, close I can see that the page size itself has changed to an a3 whereas previously a4 I uh, want to move the viewport So it covers more of the page and double clicking within the viewport allows us then to move the points so we can display it where we want uh, we can change the scale so we can zoom in try one in 250 uh, try one in 200 one in 200 looks about good for an a3 page just center it so when we plot that out we should be able to read all the text that's shown with each of the points double click outside of the viewport and we're back onto the page now we need to bring in the title block a3 title block to do that we'll go to insert uh, insert block and you go away and you would select so choosing the three little dots next to the filter you can go off and choose where you have the a3 title block here and select it open it careful in this case uh, we need to for the insertion options we need to uh, have an insertion point and we need to change the scale of the drawing the a3 title block that was drawn is drawn on AutoCAD uh, AutoCAD for this drawn and the units for it are in millimeters whereas in civil 3ds we work in meters so therefore there's a scale factor of a thousand difference to be applied if you bring it in currently using a scale of one to one you'll find that the title block will be a thousand times too small selecting the title block that you want to insert then you can specify where you want to insert it uh, let's see if I can just insert it in the bottom left hand corner scale factor so I'm going to choose this to be a thousand uh, choose the same for the Y scale edit attributes we'll come back and do that later on and if I lose the insert block window and just zoom out a little bit you'll be able to see that I've brought the title block in I can reduce down the viewport double click inside it just to make sure everything's centered the way I would like it to be that's looking good then uh, what I can do is, is if you select the block that you have just inserted I the A3 drawn, right mouse button click and you get edit attributes. 
so then you can go and change the various texts that are within the A3 drawing. So project name, put that in as topo survey, uh, drawing compass. So that was Station survey. Client. College. Scale. We're using a scale of one to two hundred. Uh, date. Drawn by and we'll call this Just draw number one. That all looks okay within the attributes. Happy with that. Uh, if we go and just repeat that uh, attributes, what you'll find is that in the if you have text that goes outside of the box what you can do is you can come to the text options and you can reduce down the width factor so if i change that to 0.75 it will make you can change the text size and you can change the width factor so for the words total station survey it should be more squashed together then we go and plot our diagram